What is going on YouTube? Jason the Arizona Desert Fisherman here with you and today we are going to be looking at 10 secret baits for catfish. Aquateco. All right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. A uh, little backstory. I read an article last week. The title of it was 10 Secret Baits That You Haven't Used for Catfish. I committed to uh, doing a little series on this before I even read into the article. Uh, I'm kind of kicking myself because I wish I would have read the article first because there's actually a couple secret baits in here that actually really annoy me. There's a few in here that are common sense, uh, but basically what I'm going to do is I have these secret baits written down and this spring and summer I will go through and use one in each episode and go through and show you whether or not they catch catfish and whether or not they catch the catfish that this article says they will. So, with that said, we'll run down the list. The first one on the article was cow's blood. If you let the cow's blood uh, sit for a while, it coagulates and basically gets to be like a uh, chicken liver consistency and it'll thread on a hook nice. Uh, the only issue with that is there is no longer a slaughterhouse in my area, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find it anywhere, but I'm definitely going to try. Uh, and the article said that cow's blood is really good for catching blue catfish because blue catfish are highly attracted to the scent of blood and especially the big monster blues. So I know there's a few of those in my area right now on the Mississippi so hopefully we can hook up with one of those. Uh, the next one is for channel catfish and it is actually green apple flavored bubble gum. I I thought that was crazy until I started reading into it and it talked about the scent of uh, the bubble gum and how much scent the channel catfish can pick up and stuff like that. Uh, and it also said that the uh, fish will hold on longer because obviously the gum is sticky. You want to chew it up before you put it on the hook, but the gum will be sticky so it'll kind of keep that hook in their mouth a little bit longer. The next one is spoiled shrimp. That is one that I have used before. I'm sure some of you guys have used as well. This will catch all kinds of catfish. It'll catch blues, channels, flathead, and I've caught bullheads on it here uh, in the springtime. So basically what you want to do is you want to use the shrimp with the tail and shell, preferably the head as well, but it's not necessary. Uh, leave those on. Let them sit outside for a day. Uh, put them in a bucket with a lid on it obviously so no animals get into it uh, and then just thread them onto a hook just like you would a night crawler and toss them out. Uh, the next one for channel catfish and flathead catfish I was surprised about but it also makes sense. French fries and this is really good for me because right here where I'm at in Iowa for now uh, my biggest and best uh, catfish spot is right next to a Wendy's Basically, the smell of the grease attracts the fish. And the way the article put it, and it makes sense, is when there's a constant supply of the smell of grease like there would be next to the Wendy's where I go catfishing, they're going to congregate there. And so we'll see if the french fries work. Basically, what I'm going to do there is uh, take a few french fries and almost... Uh, rig them up on a hook like I'm rigging a wacky style worm. Um, try it that way. If that doesn't work, I'll thread them on like a night crawler, see if that works. The next one, again, not a surprise, canned dog food. Uh, you want to use the chunk dog food, the, the actual stuff in the can, not dry dog food. That will not work. I know some people are going to go out and try that, but it won't work. Uh, the canned dog food is for the channel catfish they are highly attracted to the smell and something that I am going to do that my grandfather used to do is I'm going to take a can of dog food and poke a few holes in it tie it to a, a heavy duty rope and throw it out there the day before I go fishing with the canned dog food 
that's going to act as a chum and an attractant and get the catfish in that area for the next night when I actually go. You want to use the canned dog food at night predominantly. Uh, the next one is for when you want to catch channel catfish to fill up your freezer. Basically what you do is take skin off of chicken, it doesn't matter what part of the chicken, marinate it in a jar of garlic for a couple of days, put it on a hook, throw it out there, and I guarantee you, because I've done it before, you will catch a ton of smaller channel catfish. Now the reason this catches the smaller catfish is because, as I said earlier, the bigger catfish are really attracted to the smell of blood. They might come in to the smell of the chicken skin with the oils and the greases in it and the garlic, but it's not going to be as enticing to them as blood would be. So they might pass it up and again the uh, smaller catfish will go for it 100%. Uh, the next one is one of them that I mentioned in the beginning of the video that actually really annoys me because I do not see how it would work. Ivory soap. Uh, I've heard so many people talk about it and one other one which is actually at the top of the list. I've heard so many people talk about it and it just doesn't seem to me like it would work. Obviously like I said I'm committed to this now so I'm gonna try it and do it but the biggest thing for me is the people that swear on using ivory soap and the number one thing in this article are the ones who talk about fishing but don't seem like they even go fishing at all. You know, it's those kind of guys who just talk like they know everything and they have the best bait and the best lure in the world, but you don't think that they go fishing at all. Um, I'm skeptical on that, but we'll see if it works. Next one, number three, is actually alcohol. And there's a few things here. So what I'm going to do for that one is take a few rods, set them all up with a different... Uh, style different preparation of bait and see which ones work how many so on and so forth uh, the first part of that is liquor marinated scent or I'm sorry liquor marinated bait can't talk tonight so basically what I'm gonna do is get maybe like a piece of cod or some a, a heartier fish from the grocery store, cut it into chunks, use it as a chunk bait, and marinate it in like anise seed liquor or something like that. Uh, the next one is grape wine marinated raw chicken. I'm really interested to see if that one works a lot. And then the last one that I wrote down, or no, I'm sorry, there's two more. Beer marinated salmon steaks, which I'm also excited to try. I personally don't like salmon, so I have no problem using it at all as bait. Um, and then the last one is a mixture of raw chicken marinated in strawberry jello and brandy. Uh, so that the, the alcohol one will def definitely be interesting. See, I got four there, so I'll take out four poles that night and set them all up in different rigs. Number two, another one that a lot of you have already heard of is spam. Now, spam will catch every single kind of catfish, but here's the other problem. You want to use spam at night, and you want to use spam in an area where you know that you can catch a catfish. Because if you use spam during the day, you're going to get panfish biting on it, you're going to get carp taking it. If you just go out randomly at night, you're going to get drum biting on it, you're going to get carp biting on it. You're going to miss all the catfish because you're bothering with all these other fish. And what you want to do with the spam is let the can sit outside. It doesn't have to be for a couple of days like other things. Just let it sit outside for six to eight hours and that's going to firm up and all the oils are going to seep out to the outside. So then when you get to your fishing spot, you open the can and you actually dump the oil in the water. Don't dump it out on the ground. Don't dump it in the trash. Dump it in the water because that's going to act as a chumming attractant. That's going to bring them in more. And then, as I said, the spam itself is going to be tighter so it's going to stay on your hook better. And the number one secret bait baits, I guess, uh, in this article, as I said, really annoy me, is WD-40 and Preparation H. Now, like I said, I've heard so many guys swear on using these. It's insane, and it doesn't seem like it's going to work. 
they used to say that WD-40 was made out of fish oil, so that's why WD-40 worked and you could spray WD-40 on a hook and throw it out and catch a catfish. Completely fake. WD-40 even made a press release statement saying, WD-40 is not made out of fish oil. Preparation H? I don't know. I don't even know what preparation smells like because I've never used it, I've never had it, I've never been around it. Uh, so maybe it'll work. But basically what I'm going to do there is take some raw chicken, cut it up into cubes, and spray it with WD-40 and let it sit uh, for a little bit. I am not going to let it sit outside because I don't want the chicken to spoil because then I will be using spoiled chicken and that might be what's attracting the catfish. I'm actually going to spray it with WD-40 and let it sit in the fridge. The preparation H, I am going to squirt on some chunks of hot dogs and do the same thing. Let those sit in the fridge and kind of marinate in that. So guys, keep a lookout for this new series. <clears throat> um, it's 10 episodes, 10 different baits, preparations. I'm going to do my best and try to get the cow's blood. Like I said earlier, that might be difficult, but I'm going to definitely try to get it. And I'm going to try to get some awesome footage of all these baits catching some great catfish for you guys. Uh, so I want to thank you guys very much for tuning in today. Stick with us, Arizona Desert Fisherman Channel. Please click the subscribe button down below. Head over to our Facebook page and check things out. I'll see you guys next time.